What is up, everyone? All Barcelona fans and football fans. Um, back here again now with uh, another little bit of a <coughs> update video for a little kind of like a Barcelona video. You know, I've, I've, I've not been posting this month <coughs> in the past few weeks about the Euros and all that. But there's been some, a few updates uh, surrounding Barcelona too, so I <coughs> had to <coughs> make this video as well. And uh, don't worry, there's coming. Hopefully, by the time this is uploaded, I <coughs> hopefully will have already recorded as well and upload the um, review or like and thoughts on the <coughs> quarterfinals uh, of the Euros. So that's also pro hopefully, if not already on the channel, <coughs> you see this, it will be soon. So <coughs> hopefully, that will happen. I'll uh, get that <coughs> done tonight. But um, <coughs> but for now. We have a few things to talk about um, uh, surrounding the club. Um, most like uh, about people who are leaving the club. Some people potential joining the club. There's some signings and <clears throat> and other things like that. <clears throat> uh, let's start with kind of some of the stuff about uh, when the se the, the with the preseason and stuff like that. Uh, the preseason will be beginning now uh, on Wednesday. <clears throat> no games yet, but uh, the first game we have is uh, on the 31st of July. But <clears throat> right now, uh, the tra training and everything starts back up again now on Wednesday on the 10th. <clears throat> and um, the Flick is already in big pre preparation and all that for that. It's trying to start to prepare and uh, pump and... Uh, set up for that to begin now <clears throat> um so many players are still not back of course obviously uh <clears throat> from the euros from the some will be eventually soon soon but some will take a little bit for so before like like Gundogan to stay again and and Kistensen and <clears throat> those who were eliminated from <clears throat> by with the nations won't come back at once, but probably will take a week or two, so maybe have a vacation, then step back in, um, <clears throat> obviously. Um, but some players that are already, that are at the club will start training and they will begin preparations for preseason. So there's, there's a lot going on there. We'll see what happens. Of course, um, Spain is still in the tournament, so they, the Spanish players will be take some time uh, uh we'll see what happens there of course one of the obvious one <clears throat> big sad thing is of course is pedri with his injury but uh i'll get to that in a little bit but um otherwise we have of course with fermin lopez who's barely played but he's gonna be stepping off going into the olympics as well after the, this euro tournament so he won't be there for the preseason sadly enough but you know, we'll see what happens. You know, we're barely in the, any any midfield that's really left to that. It's gonna be tough for Flick to really put something on there in the preseason. But we'll see. Hopefully, Gundogan will be back <coughs> soon enough. And also, <coughs> let's hope that Frankie's recovery will be going well. And he'll get, can, hopefully, he can join in in some of those preseason games, maybe. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. <coughs> but now. On to some of the transfer news and stuff like that before we go into more in-depth stuff. Um, <clears throat> as you all know, we've heard about all these at least five weeks about Barcelona potentially now finally getting back into the one-one rule and all that and fixing the economy. Well, John Laporta came came out today or I think yesterday. He said that uh, it looks right now that uh, we at Barcelona will be able to be making proper signings again. Um, we will be able to do what we need to do because uh, the economy has will be potentially <coughs> looking good again, hopefully, <coughs> if you will believe that. So, if you <coughs> believe his words, I think you doubt that. That, uh, that is some very good news, then, if that is true. Um, it will be meaning a lot to for us then that we can go in and potentially try to go for the target the players that we want to target in a transfer window and how that's just opened a few days ago so um 
but you know there's some few targets that are our main ones main ones and one in particular which i'll get to in a second but it's good to hear that we uh, we can finally get back into trying to build this club and uh, build the team properly because there's some players of course that are leaving and there's some that that is uh, up in the air what's going to happen to them so flick needs the time to really get into this and build up the squad properly um <clears throat> those are for certain who are leaving is marcus alonso is one of those uh, who is uh, expired now and he will be going not sure yet uh, the club destination for him but he has been confirmed that he is leaving and it's also posted on his instagram page as well that he posted farewell post as well so i thank him for everything for these two seasons for everything he brought to the club <clears throat> you know was wasn't a pro super prominent figure but for what he did uh you know he did his best and he <clears throat> um thank him for the things that he contributed especially for that <clears throat> last season <clears throat> you know for this this one when we won the league in the super cup so i think it's still a pretty good <clears throat> time for him here at the club he got to win two trophies and play for a club that his dad also played for you know and it's it, it's good for him and i'm thanking for all that he did and wish him all the best in the future then we also have a couple few youngsters post potentially going mark uh, mark you i believe it was uh, i think you think that's the one yeah uh he's gone to chelsea he did not accept the, or like taking the offer that barcelona had and to give give to him to stay at the club to extend his contract for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, and if he thinks that he's gonna get any minutes at Chelsea, I very much doubt that. There's already been some rumors about him potentially going out on loan directly as well. And and if that's the truth, then yeah, pff, then that, that's just very ironic, really. Because you know he wanted more minutes. He wanted hey, I don't, I think, but uh, Barcelona offered him like um contract if uh, he can play next season in the B team again. But if he plays more than 50% the season after, in the 25-26 season, he will be guaranteed a place in the first team. <clears throat> and he'll get a 2 million annual salary as well, which is not bad. With a very good deal there. But I guess he, wanted to, he didn't want to wait. He didn't have the patience. So <clears throat> he has decided to go to Chelsea. And we'll see how it goes there for him. I don't know if we have a salon us or anything for him there. Not exactly sure with that one, but yeah, that's the situation with him. Uh, very unfortunate, but you know, also if you don't feel like you want to have the patience, you you want to play for the club, then yeah, you're you're not in the best service for us. You know, it's uh, it's a youngster like that goes, but. It's also like you can't do it if he doesn't want. He doesn't want it. That's just simply as it is. But I don't know if how he thinks that Chelsea would be the best choice for him, because they are buying so many other young players and so many doing so many weird stuff, over, so much weird stuff over there. So you don't even know who's gonna be able to, to play. Like I don't even think he's gonna barely gonna get any minutes over there. But I guess he gets more paid. Maybe I don't know because you know Todd Bowley has a lot of money. They have plenty of money to give out, so Chelsea. But yeah, uh, it, it's it's a bit unfortunate, but yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is, and we have to just move on. Wish him all the best of luck, I guess. And yeah, that's that. Uh, <coughs> someone else who put looks like he will be go leaving. I think his his contract also ended. He's no longer a Barcelona player. Um, particularly. He still is in Barcelona, probably will be training separately from the team. Uh, it is Sergio Roberto, uh, our last season captain. And he, a long time here you know, of the club, it looks like this last season was, was going to be his final one now. Uh, it's, it was <clears throat> kind of confirmed by him not, <clears throat> by the contract expiring. It doesn't look like the club is really trying to go fully it's not a, at least not a priority at the moment uh he's willing to wait out a bit but there's no news of where he could pot potentially go or any anybody really going for him fully 
Um, but at the moment, at least, he's no longer a Barcelona player, on paper, at least. But he's still at the club facility, he's training for now, and a little bit probably will be training separately from everybody else. So we'll see what happens there. But it looks more and more likely that he won't be uh, at the club next season. But if that is the case, then I'll thank him for everything and wish him all the best. <coughs> uh, and we'll see what happens. So somebody else as well who. I just got information about, like, about, I don't know if this is true, I hope it's not, because it would just be weird, because he doesn't really fit into the club. It's about um, Oriol Romeo, and that Hansi Flick is kind of tried in preseason and test him in preseason and see if he's going to stay, if he can keep him or not. I don't know if that's smart. I don't know if that's even true. I, I don't feel like it is, but it wouldn't be a good thing. Because he just hasn't been fitting in. He did good last preseason. In the beginning of last season. A little bit good. But other than that. Overall he's just. Not been like he should be. Like he just. Hasn't fitted into the club. Uh, the way he should. And it just hasn't really worked out. The best way that it could have done. Potentially maybe. I don't know if he ever could. But. <clears throat> And there's been some rumors here and there. We'll go back to Girona. We'll go here and there. But it's his contract has not expired. But it's it's still up in the air whether he's going to go or not. It's like, it's a bit weird with that one. I would rather see him go because I don't think there's any p proper place for him. But I can maybe understand why he would still bring him in for the... Preseason because we're pretty much lacking a bit with the in the midfield stuff uh, area at the moment for the momentarily just at least not for now uh, until the season starts so it's it's a little bit up in there there how <laughs> what Flick's gonna do maybe bring in some more youngsters but <clears throat> and it's also said that yeah the plenty of youngsters from the B team will be giving a few chances one youngster I don't remember his name will be called up Noah Darwish the young German he will also be getting a chance chance now in preseason or potentially next for and the actual during the ne next season as well <clears throat> so we'll see where what next like kind of talent come true on the flick you know um <clears throat> but that's pretty much it that the people leaving front at for now there's some other things here. There. Like, yeah, there's Mikali Faye. Uh, that's also up in there uh, for for a few days there for a week or so. It was kind of look, looking close that he was going to be leaving for Porto. But uh, it came out then later that Barcelona did not want to let him go for the only for that price that Porto was willing to pay. Uh, they... Barcelona put out uh, the the price for him was we put out that it's gonna be for around fifteen million, uh, but Porto was only willing to pay five, so Barcelona declined that, and we have now it seems that he will be joining the preseason potentially. <clears throat> we'll see if he actually stays potentially and then at the club, which will be good. I think that would be the best. I I don't really want him to leave. I think he's a good time that we can use. <laughs> he, um, so uh, we'll see where where that goes there, but uh, it looks now at least that he's not been, he's no longer in like fully <coughs> like front runner for to be sold. Um, the club is trying to keep him potentially. So, and I I'm glad I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we stood our ground and did not really just let him go for any price. You know. It's a good talent that we brought in, so it, we shouldn't be like just just because just letting anybody go in any way. Um, so I'm glad for that, and hopefully we can uh, get something out of him in any way possible. We'll see if it if, if he stays. Hopefully he can help out with the team during next season in some way. Hopefully he can <coughs> flourish under Flick and uh, become better. And now we move on to some of the transfer targets that we have, and mainly the one of the main ones, which I'll get to, <clears throat> it's first off we have uh, not too much surrounding the midfield se section really, 
uh, you know, there have been so many rumors about Kimmich, about others like that, Miguel Marino from Real Sociedad, which by the way also scored a goal versus Germany. <clears throat> my great play there in the same city as dad scored and did the probation but that was pretty good but i'll talk about that in my hero review but um so he's good, potentially going for him potentially going for a few others like that there there is some targets in midfield that we maybe could be going for but um it's not nothing really it's it's not really anything just massively at the moment the in that area that, that we have not, not a main target yet <clears throat> so we'll see as the summer goes on as the transfer moves on, <clears throat> on where where we will land where we'll land up in that position and w which kind of player we target i hope we do try to find somebody to try to get one some of that because we need that we need the squad that we see the injuries that are happening we see other things else like that we need more players in that area to really that's one of the most important positions at this club really from the building of the uh, of the game and all that like in the control in the matches and all that we need more uh, strength in that position <clears throat> also in the back with the with this defenders there's some things here and there about some potential people um but nothing concrete fully yet um that's why I've said keeping Mikel Fai would be a, a, a good thing. Um, so, uh, not nothing overly much on that front either. Um, <clears throat> on the goalkeeping post, I think, yeah, the club has remained firm that uh, we're not going to try to sign any other <clears throat> goalkeeper. Mark and Ter Stegen will be with keeping, we're sticking with him, <clears throat> of course, and I think that's good. He's a great goalkeeper. Or class sad that he hasn't got he didn't get any minutes in the Euros, but um, he, we're sticking with him and he's gonna do well. <clears throat> the second choice keeper, it looks like Inaki Pena will be staying for the next season. <clears throat> it doesn't look like he's gonna to be leaving. At least that's some of the latest reports there, and he's an okay backup. You know, he was he was decent for most part when <clears throat> when the second was injured last season. But also, there were some moments where he wasn't as super confident. But, you know, he's he's not the worst backup, you know, we can have. So, I think that's still we okay for that position, at least. And then we come to the forwards. And this is where <laughs> it would be wonderful if we can get this player. We have seen one certain player besides Lamin Yamal, you know. And one that he's paired up when I've been... Very good friends with as well, uh, in uh, one player in Nico Williams, who has been doing absolutely incredibly well and has been a great asset for Spain and could be potentially now for Barcelona too. I would love for him for us to sign him. He will be a good answer to Real Madrid. What they're doing over there with the Mbappe and all that with the link up between him and uh, Lamin and how we can really <clears throat> bring this all together. They're doing so well in Spain and I would love to see them play under Flick in Barcelona. It will be absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> and he's also keen on joining Barca too. Uh, the latest things on him <clears throat> is that the work has really begun to, 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 to signing him because now as it seems that the economy, economy will be good and we'll be all set and agree with La Liga and all that shit but with with that and it's all fair and all that good uh, Barcelona's main priority now is to sign Nico Williams to do everything possible Laporta and Deco will be doing everything possible to really get this over the designing over with and really get him in uh, and after them we'll they'll switch focus to the midfield but for now we're trying our best to get him <clears throat> He's our number one target at the moment. And also the player has been prioritizing a move to Barca above uh, a move to the Premier League instead. Um, he's the, there's some rumors here and there that maybe a few teams over there were going to like uh, among them. Chelsea was one of those who potentially were going for him and uh, <clears throat> like that. But the player wants uh, a move to Barcelona rather instead. 
and that's really the only thing he wants uh, <coughs> and his release clause you know it is uh, 58 million but it looks now that the club with all this good going good the club will be open to paying the clause directly uh, if everything works out well with uh, with all the uh, financial fair play good stuff and all that and uh, Liga are aware and uh, the club has made a Liga aware that this is the player that they're trying to sign and everything had been discussed and and there are in talks with his agents as well so <clears throat> the club is in touch with talks with agents you know Deco has been talking <clears throat> there there's no personal uh, terms agreed yet <clears throat> you know uh, but uh, it's looking very good very very good in progress to to be uh, going through in a, in a great way because yeah uh, if we can if everything all goes well and we we are open to play pay the release clause and all that stuff I think this is a signing that we potentially will be able to bring through and if we do it will be a huge boost for us next season because uh, we have needed something like that <clears throat> like another another forward who can be quick and who can work well up there i know we have rafinha who's doing well we have um a few others up there too but we're just not sure whether joe felix will stay or not um but it, it's it's a little bit up in there with that one so this will be a good good thing we can uh a good signing for us uh that can really help us out i think he's a really talented player and he has really shown that during the euros how how good he really is and how he can also plus linking up very well with lemin yaval which is just perfect <laughs> you know just all makes sense really for us to sign him then um he's he's laporta's dream signing now so we hopefully hopefully all will go well and we can bring him in um it will be uh, a wonderful thing like for us next season to have someone like him in the team you know i think i can see very much very nice beautiful place up front and many goals then you know with him working on the sides uh with on one side i mean or somebody in front of something in the middle we're working in a proper proper way like that so i think it will be good i think it will be very good and hopefully hopefully it will go through <clears throat> let's just uh, hope for the best you know with, with this one um it, it will be a great signing indeed for us uh and it looks like the club really are pushing for it big time now so that's good to hear that's really good to hear that we can know now that yeah okay now it is a big possibility before it was just up in here maybe we do we do we not know with the economy and all that but as it seems right now, it, it looks more likely than not, at least, at the moment. So we'll see what, what happens in the coming weeks or so. Um, <clears throat> I think we'll start hearing more of sometime next week when the Euros have wrapped up and all that. We'll start hearing a little bit more. But <clears throat> we'll see how this ends up. And that's kind of the main target right now. We don't have much else. Uh, it's all mostly Nico Williams at the moment. Nothing too more concrete. As I said, uh, this is the priority right now. And then they will shift focus to Deco and Laporta will shift focus to the midfield and try to find somebody there <coughs> and flick through. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what the other departments there. Um, uh, one more income to this season, a, a player who has come back to the club from loan and potentially will be getting a chance in preseason and we'll see if he can really prove himself is Ansu Fati. Yeah, <laughs> he, he had a okay season at Brighton last season, uh, went over there but got injured halfway through and <clears throat> really just couldn't pick it up too much. Uh, wasn't the absolute greatest there, uh, but uh, it wasn't horrible either. <clears throat> he got, I think, assists, I think, yeah, I don't know, maybe score a couple, few goals, <clears throat> maybe over there. But he's ready, he said that he wants to prove himself here at the club, and he wants to prove to Flick that he can count on him, and 
he's gonna get that chance in preseason so we'll see what happens there he's the one who wears the number 10 shirt so <laughs> yeah he wears the number 10 so we'll see how we can if we can this time around live up to that or not but uh, it's it's that that's the whole thing with that with the number ten shirt and people saying we should probably give it to Lamin Yamal now. That's way too much pressure on Lamin either uh, as well. So, uh, we'll see if Fatih can prove himself and if he will be still with us at the in the next season or not. Um, I'm hoping that he can do well. I hope that he can improve himself because I remember when he first started up and came up and we see him its potential and you see how good he was doing. That first season under Coleman, you know, I believe it was, and a little bit before that too. Uh, it w it was really really good. Um, the, for those seasons there, like you played a little bit from best too, and he was showing it was showing great potential. So I hope he can get back to that. You know, injuries have really that like dampened that a little bit for him. So hopefully uh, he can pick it back up and really get his form good going and. We'll see uh, what awaits him the coming season. But now onto some little bit more uh, sadder stuff and a little bit more worse bad news. Uh, we have two injuries during the summer. The one from the Copa America, one from the Euros. <clears throat> the one from the Euros, you all know already, it's Pedri, who got very much harshly and very much terribly tackled by Tony Cross. Who just retired as well. Uh, I'm not going to talk more about that. I have certain feelings. about, But I'll talk maybe more about. My, in it in my. Euro re quarterfinal review. But. Uh, he got injured. And he will be out for. A little bit more than a month. I think a month and a half or something. At most. I think. Uh, not, not too horrible. It, it could have been way worse. So that's at least it's good that it's not something that will keep him out for a longer period of time. So hopefully he will be back sometime, at least maybe for the, one of the last games of preseason. Or just when the season begins at least. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Maybe for the gun patrol <laughs> he can play if, if we have that. This, and there's no set, set date or team we'll face in that. I don't know if that's going to happen in summer or not, but... Um, <clears throat> hopefully he will he can rest up and do well. He's still with the Spain camp and all that over there at the Euros. He's still long as long as they're alive in the tournament. They he will be with there with them, and and support them and like yeah, cheer them on and uh, you know do his best to be a team player outside of the pitch. You know, which is good, which is very admirable and like and great. And <clears throat> I hope that he can recover well and come back soon and be ready and good in the next season, the beginning of next season. So, all the best to Pedri. <clears throat> it's sad that he has so many injuries. It's a hope that uh, during the next season there will be no more injuries for him. I really do hope so. And then we have another one uh, that happened at the Copa America for one of our defenders, which, yeah, that just sucks even more. It's, of course, you know, it is, it's Araujo. Yeah, sadly, who he got injured, and this one is a bit worse than than Pedri's. Uh, it seems that he will be out for two months. Uh, <coughs> support they're still doing some uh, checks on him uh, <coughs> with the club and all that, but um, <coughs> we'll see if it, if anything, any other news pop up about that. But at the moment, the latest news is that he will be out for two months at least. It's a ham it's his hamstring or something, I believe. So that's that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Uh, I think he'll miss probably all of preseason and maybe even the beginning of the season a little bit. I think one of the first games, if that possibly, uh, I could see him potentially being back sometime earlier, sometime by the end of August at least. But um, we'll we will see. We'll see. Um, what happens there that that sucks that sucks really much because you know getting injured like this we have to have in preseason we have to get into the new season and they can't get in and flick can't really uh, see over a team then and when there's so many people losing we already have uh, frankie as well in midfield still not fully recovered gavi as well who's not going to be back at least until november 
uh, sometimes. So uh, end of October, sometime beginning of November. Um, <clears throat> it's it's all like it's really bad. It's really tough, and when you have these situations and that happens, so that 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 sucks. But. Uh, all the best to them too. Hope they recover quickly and hopefully they can come back soon and get back into the team and, uh, you know, do what they do best. So, yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty much that. Uh, but that's pretty much all those news I have for now. Uh, overall, it's, it's a tr tricky situation. We just have to wait and see what happens. But hopefully this transfer window will be going well. Um, there's one more as well, one target we had that was from Hull City, I think, well, I don't remember his name, it was a young guy, uh, I remember what his name was now, but we potentially were going for him, but it looks like he's decided that he's gonna go to some <clears throat> Premier League club instead, potentially, I don't know, it doesn't look like we're gonna go for him on a priority, and for me it doesn't really matter, I think, for me, I want us to really focus on Nico the most, and Whatever else comes later, we'll we'll deal with that then, and yeah, but um, but that's it pretty much. Uh, nothing other major like uh, yeah, in the other tournaments uh this summer like yeah, we have Copa America, Argentina has been doing pretty well. Messi has been doing decent over there. He's doing well, <clears throat> some assists, not goals yet, but like he's done assists. He missed the penalty in the penalty shooter, but doesn't really matter. Uh, they still went through. Uh, and be uh, and they defeated uh, I believe it was Ecuador I believe uh, if I'm not mistaken and they are in the semifinals now where they will be facing Canada and uh, that will be happening I don't know the short one I think maybe tonight or is it tomorrow night I don't know sometime at least soon uh, <clears throat> and we will be see if they can make it to the Copa America final <coughs> hopefully and yeah, potentially Messing getting his second Copa America in a row. On the other side, you know, we have Brazil as well, uh, <clears throat> who were uh, eliminated by Ur Uruguay. The same game that Araujo got injured. <clears throat> Rafinha and Araujo had a little as well, which was really weird. Uh, it was just a strange thing to have. Like, Rafinha pushed him. I don't know. I don't want that to go through back to the club. Like, I hope they figure that out, because that's just really just annoying and dumb. It shouldn't be happening, but it is what it is. <clears throat> And, um, yeah, uh, they are also, uh, I mean, uh, Uruguay also in the semifinals, um, uh, don't know exactly who they're facing, I remember, was it Colombia, maybe, or somebody, I don't know exactly who they were facing, but, uh, either way, they will, it could be potential Argentina and, uh, Uruguay final, maybe, and uh, maybe Luis Suarez or Messi, you know, that, that's gonna, that will be, Pretty really fun, but yeah, um, Suarez hasn't played much. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, nothing else other than that. Uh, overall, <clears throat> we'll, it's still early in the uh, in the window, so we'll have to wait and see where uh, everything goes. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, soon we'll have more news on all the transfer funds and all that stuff. But yeah, until then. Uh, that's gonna do it for this video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did leave a like down below and also subscribe if you're not done already and ring the notification bell to be notified next time a video gets uploaded, which will be soon. Uh, I think there's a video coming after this. This is gonna be the next video after this is the Euro quarterfinal review, which I'll be filming directly after that film this. So yeah, um I don't know Hope you thank you for everybody for also recently subscribed as well and all that and liked and all that means a lot. Um, I'm <clears throat> trying to build this channel up and uh, make it grow. So thank you guys for that. And yeah, other than that, thank you for watching, and I catch you guys next time. Bye. So awesome.